Hey love, it's Reese here and today I'm talking to you about what it takes to become a successful coach. So I want to tell you a story. Last week, I ran my third Yes Supply Method training and it's so crazy because it was just a little over a year ago. I was thinking of launching the certification and I had so much fear and I had no idea how I would put it together and now I just did my largest Yes Supply Method training ever with 27 students and it was just so beautiful and so life-changing and there's so many tears and so much transformation and it was just the absolute coolest and right now we are almost sold out for September too which is wild to me because I had so much fear I didn't know if anyone would ever sign up I didn't know if anyone would be interested in learning all these cool mind reprogramming tools that I learned that changed my life I didn't know if anyone else would get it cheers to intuition because when you have that intuition you gotta follow it because it knows what it's talking about so I want to share with you two stories from two of our students who came in to the training had never coached before had a deep desire to but didn't have a website didn't have a blog all these different things barely had following one of them made about two to three thousand last I checked and one of them made twelve thousand dollars there's so many things out there that essentially tell you like if you want to be a successful coach you need to have like your brand colors and you need to have a website and you need to get X amount of followers I am here to tell you that if you want to be a successful coach you need your a in check you need to believe in yourself. You need to be committed to changing whatever it is you need to change about yourself. So committed to doing the inner work and committed to helping others. And that is it. The internet, social media, all these other things, they are the loudspeaker for your message, but you have to start off with the message. And the big thing that I think is getting a lot of people stuck is they get so caught up and guess what one of my students sold 12k in her first week after she left the yes supply method without a website literally from doing Facebook stories did not have a huge Facebook audience anything like that it was just friends and people that she personally knew and the reason why I'm sharing this with you is because there's way too many good people out there that want to change lives that want to help others that know that they have a purpose and are getting stuck in the tech and I like to show people how to do it in the opposite way. You start off with your message, you focus in on that, and you start making money. You can hire someone to do your website. You can hire someone to help you with your social media. You can hire someone to help you with all the techie stuff. If you know from your heart of hearts that tech isn't really your thing, and you are more about supporting people and creating content and holding space and being that support system, then I want you to know that if it's fun for you to build a website, and it's fun for you to do all that stuff perfect amazing that's great but if it's not then you can focus in on making money doing what you love serving and then you can reinvest in yourself you can reinvest in your business and you can hire someone to do all the other things now this is not something that I learned for myself I did it the hard way when I came into this industry everyone was telling me that I needed all this techie stuff and da 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 so I taught myself how to build my WordPress site I taught myself how to grow my social media I have so much information in my my brain on online marketing all this stuff which is great because it's really great for helping my clients in my group program but I want you to know that you can make thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars without needing any of that stuff because the thing that's really important is you the thing that's important is your message the thing that's important is your spirit and the thing that is important is your energy and when your energy is drained because you can't figure out your WordPress integration then you're not helping anyone sweetheart so this is what you need in order to be a coach that succeeds the first thing that you need to do is you need to ask yourself, who am I really? Not the person that I think I should show up as, not mocking or copying the other coach that's successful, but who are you? Because the other people, they're already taken, but you are not. And the thing is, there will be no competition when you show up as you, because then you become your own niche. Don't get caught up in what everyone else is trying to take tell you when you can recognize and remember that the internet is a new thing. So all the people who are telling you that this is how it needs to go and you need to follow this framework, they have gotten on the internet pretty much the exact same amount of time as you have and things are changing things
things are always growing, so how can anyone have all of the answers? When people ask me how to make money and how to grow my following and all of these things, I'm very happy and open to share what I've gone through, but I always remind my clients and my students that you have to find what works for you because what works for me might not work for you. And I think the rule of thumb is asking yourself what actually feels good, what makes you feel like you're being you. Because when you can show up and it doesn't feel like work, you're going to show up, you're going to connect. A big thing to think about too is who is the person that you wanna be? What do you wanna be creating? On days where I would put something out and I wouldn't get a like, it seemed like no one was paying attention to me or no one noticed me, I wouldn't think about the outside circumstances because a real coach, a real influencer doesn't wait for everyone else or anyone else to give them permission to do what they wanna do. I wanted to share content online. I wanted to share my story. And so I wasn't gonna let anybody else tell me when I was or wasn't allowed to do that. I gave myself permission and it's that very energy of me deciding to give myself permission and showing up as the person that I want to be with no reason to. Like no one gave me a permission slip. I got to decide and it was that very action of me deciding for myself that made me step up and become the leader who I am and then allowed other people to look at me in that light. It's not that I was better than anyone or smarter than anyone when it's just that I had the thought and I took action on it. How many of you have the thought and then you don't take action on it? Let me know below in the comments. Let me know how many times you've had the thought to put out a video, you've had the thought to write a book, you've had the thought to speak up at a meeting and then you decide, oh no, it's safer if I don't. Guess what? It's not safer if you don't. The thing that you wanna share, if you don't share it, it will just keep bubbling up inside is it's gonna start to feel like an internal conflict because part of you wants to do one thing and part of you wants to do another thing. For me, I used to be so afraid to speak up in meetings, but I started to allow myself. Who is the version of me that is a leader? And I decided that that person shares her message and says what she has to say and speaks before being spoken to. And it is following not the person who I always was, not the person of the past, but the person who I want to be in the future was being that person that allowed me to get to where it is that I am. So one of the things that I want you to do, if you are waiting for permission, if you are wondering, when do I get to be a successful coach? is I want you to ask yourself, what is the purpose of me holding myself back? You're probably gonna find that it's safety, it's security, it's familiarity. And then I want you to ask yourself, what is the part of me that wants to achieve success? And you're gonna find that it's fun and it's expression and it's expansion. And what I want you to realize is the part of you that keeps holding yourself back actually wants fun and expansion and to move forward. And it doesn't realize that it can have both. And the part of you that wants to move forward, it also wants to be safe, even when you move forward forward, you are so safe. And it's safe for you to know that those inner talents that come so naturally to you are a huge gift to other people. I never realized that being positive and seeing people's potential was such a unique talent that I had. And I'm willing to bet that if you're watching this video, you have that gift too. If you're interested in learning more about how to reprogram the mind, click down below because I'm going to leave some links to my coaching program, The Yes Supply Method, which will show you how to become a successful life coach, how to use neuro-linguistic programming to reprogram the mind, EFT to tap into people's emotions to help them feel feelings that they want to feel in any moment, hypnosis, and time techniques, which is a powerful regression technique to help people get to the root cause of negative emotions that are holding them back and release them so they can live full life. I love you so much. If you enjoyed this, if it helped you, you make a shift type down below in the comments what shift it helped you make also make sure to hit the subscribe button so you get notified when I come out with more videos for you and if you have requests or questions that you want to ask me again leave them in the comments because we read through all the comments and they fuel ideas for upcoming content I love you so much and I'll see you in the next video